This is News Channel 5 at 6. Good evening and thank you for joining us for News Channel 5 at 6. I'm Dale Hoff. And hi everybody. Thanks so much for tuning in tonight. I'm Farrah Reyna. Well, Pineville City Councilman and Police Jury Candidate Joe Bishop is facing a felony charge of cruelty to a juvenile from the Louisiana Attorney General's office. The charge stems from an incident that happened in March. Well, that's where Sheriff's deputies investigated an alleged incident between Bishop and his daughter. And the newsroom tonight with more details on this case is News Channel 5's Diana Isles. Hi, Diana. Go ahead and update us on the situation. Okay, Farrah. Well, we have been inundated with phone calls and emails about this matter. So what we want to do tonight was kind of set the record straight and tell folks the facts here. And this is what I found out. This latest incident is just one of the many domestic issues involved in the councilman's past. Now, in my hand right here is the letter from the Attorney General's office. These are the formal charges against Joe Bishop for cruelty to a juvenile. We also have an initial report from the Rapid Sheriff's Office that they did investigate an incident that happened back on March 10th. Now earlier today I did speak with Mr. Bishop. He told me there was a situation where he had to remove his 15 year old daughter from. Allegedly the daughter was at a home where underage drinking was happening. Now at this time it is unknown who made the initial complaint against him for the cruelty charges in that case. But what we do know is that Bishop and his former wife have a long history of domestic problems. Bishop has at least two protective abuse orders against him filed by his former wife. In the records he is ordered to stay away from his daughter and his former wife. So Farah, what Bishop tells me is that this timing of all of this coming out right now is pretty ironic considering the fact that his campaign is in full swing, that he is um, campaigning to be the new Rapids Parish Police Juror men and um, the reasoning for why this case is being handled by the attorney general's office is because district attorney jam downs recused himself from this case for personal reasons now bishop today denied an interview with us and that was from the recommendation of his attorney philip terrell but he did take the time to write us a letter of response in all of this and kind of gives us his side of the story and we posted that whole letter on our website at kalb.com so we want to encourage folks to check it out on there and it kind it kind of gives a little more perspective as to this whole case. Vera. All right, Diana, so what is the next step here in this case as far as him being charged and the process of the arraignment? Right, he is charged. No date for the arraignment has been set yet, but when it is, that is when Bishop will plead either guilty or not guilty, and of course from there it will be decided if the thing will go to trial. And of course we'll be staying on top of this issue, but we do want to encourage folks to head to our website at KLB.com to check out more. And one quick mention to clear things up, as you said, we were uh, pretty much just bombarded with all these phone we calls, were. but we didn't receive this and this wasn't officially signed by the Attorney General's office till this month. Is that correct? Though the incident happened in March, right? Right. It was, uh, we just got this, we just found out about this from the Attorney General's and I think this was signed just last week. So it's just now coming to light. All right, Diana, thanks a lot for clearing that up for us. All right, appreciate it, Diana. Well, the FBI